Welcome everybody. Welcome to Shauna Simone Yoga. We're going to get started seated on our mats. One, two, or three, or a very thick mat to be more gentle on your knees. Be kind to your body. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. Thank you for dedicating the next 30 minutes to feeding your mind, your body, and your soul. I am humbled. My name is Shauna of Shauna Simone Yoga. Thank you for those of you joining us via MightyEnforcers.com. Feel free to explore and check out all the features of MightyEnforcers.com. Go ahead and rock back and forth. Bury your sits bones into your mat. Picture an elongated spine. Pretend as though somebody has a string attached to the top of your head and is pulling you up to the ceiling. So sit up nice and tall and proud. Hmm. Just start to relax, drop in, let go of the day, let go of the to-do list, and just focus on yourself for the next 30 minutes. Let's inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, round the shoulders down and back away from the ears. Two more times. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, release down and away from the ears. Nice job. Maybe rock the head side to side, tip the chin forward and back. Move slowly. We're just warming up. Whatever feels right to you. You can make circular motions with the head, reverse the direction. Yogis, I invite you to bring your fingers to chin mudra. Place your index finger on your thumb. Have them touch. Place your hands on your knees, palms up. I invite you to close your eyes. If you are not comfortable closing your eyes, just look at something off in the distance that is not moving. There's no need to look at me. You can simply follow my cues. We're going to do some conscious deep belly breaths. Inhale through the nose. Continue to suck that breath down through the back of the throat into the chest and continue to suck in down to the diaphragm belly expand hold the breath long slow exhale draw the navel in inhale belly expands hold Slow exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, belly expands. Hold. Exhale, draw the navel in. Now, allow the breath to do whatever it wants right here. You're continuing to close your eyes. And we're going to do a meditation through sensation. So simply start to rub your fingertips together. Rub your thumb on your fingertips. Paying attention to the, your own fingerprints and what that feels like against your thumb. Maybe rub your thumb over your other finger, your nails. Paying attention to the difference in textures, your skin versus your nails. Go ahead and flip your hands over onto your knees and start to massage your knees, paying attention to what you're feeling on your fingertips. It could be the texture from the clothing you're wearing. It could be your own skin. Continue to run your fingers down your legs, down to your feet. Run your fingers onto your own feet, up to your toes, paying attention to the texture of your skin and the difference in that texture with your nails, your toenails. Continue to run your fingers back up your knees, up your thighs, up the side of your body, coming to your neck and your jaw. 
So you're using your fingers, pressing into your fingers and pulling on your own skin and face down your jaw, massaging your jaw, opening your mouth, relaxing the tongue. You could pull down and out or up and out, whatever is more comfortable for you. Paying attention to what you're feeling on your fingertips, even recognizing your bone structure in your jaw as you're pulling down and out, up and out. Feeling those cheekbones, bringing your fingers to your ears, using your thumb and your index finger to pull down and out away from your ears. Once you're halfway up that cartilage, flip the thumb on the inside, pull up and out, paying attention to what you're feeling on your fingertips, feeling the different texture now, which is the cartilage in your ears. It takes five pounds of pressure to pull your ears off. Go ahead and pull with 4.9. Up and out, down and away. The next time you have a headache, try this technique before taking any medication. Bringing your index fingers, your peace fingers to your temple. Massage in any direction, circular motion with the appropriate pressure that is right for you. And let's reverse the direction going counterclockwise or clockwise, whatever is opposite of what you were doing. Running your fingertips up to your scalp, massaging your scalp, feeling, paying attention to what you're feeling on your fingertips, your own scalp texture, your own hair texture, pressing in and out, giving yourself a lovely head massage, maybe moving your fingers in a circular motion, tipping the chin forward, coming down to the nape of the neck, massaging the neck, the back of the the back of the neck any direction you could simply just press your fingers deep into your skin pull away push towards or go in a circle whatever feels right to you and when you're ready hands come to prayer relax those shoulders away from the ears you should feel really good in the neck area the shoulder areas Let's take a big deep inhale together, rub the palms together, create some energy, some chi. Place those warm hands over the closed eyes. And on the exhale, start to drag your hands down your face, spreading your fingers wide, reintroducing the light into your body. <laughs> Namaste, welcome. Grab onto your knees and slowly move in any direction. Big circular motion, sway all the way back, all the way over to one side, swing all the way forward and around. Breathe, these are seated dancing lines. Let's reverse the direction. Try to synchronize the movement with the breath, the breath with the movement. You're doing great, breathe. And we all meet in the center, coming back to an uprighted seated position. So your feet, your legs are either in half lotus, full lotus, or whatever is comfortable for you. Let's go ahead and continue to loosen up the neck and the shoulders. Big deep inhale, this right arm up, exhale, allow it to flop over the head. Try to get the head right in the crux of this elbow here and gently pull your head over to the right. Make sure you're not leaning forward. forward. Sit up tall and pull the head over to the right. Inhale, left arm up is shoulder height. Exhale, lower left arm 20%. Shh. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Shh. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Shh. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Shh. Inhale. Exhale, lower left arm all the way to the floor. Shh. Leave the head exactly where it is. Release your right hand. Use it to push your head up to neutral. Nice job. Inhale, left arm up, yogis. Exhale, allow it to flop over the head. Gently pull the head over to the left. Inhale, right arm up, it's shoulder height. Exhale, lower 20%. Shh. 
Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. Inhale. Exhale, lower 20. All the way to the floor. Leave the head where it is. Release your left hand. Use it to push your head up to neutral. That should feel really good. <laughs> Let's inhale, big scoop up. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Energy through the fingers. Exhale, right hand, left knee. Left hand behind the back. I like to tent the fingers to help me push to sit up even straighter. Let's inhale together. Exhale, twist and turn to the left. Keep the eyes open. Your body will follow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and turn further to the left. Nice job. Use your knee to operate as your own resistance to help you to make that twist even deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to look all the way behind you if that's available today. And slowly come back to center. Inhale, both arms up, big scoop. Exhale, paint the walls. Fold forward wherever you land is perfect. Gently rock your head from side to side, massaging your third eye, bringing you discernment and awareness. Let's inhale, look out, walk the fingertips an inch further. Exhale, mount into the floor. I invite you to use this time to set an intention for today's practice. Why are you here? What would you like to invite more of into your life? Is it love? Is it peace? Is it happiness? Whatever it is, you let the universe know. Breathe. Let's walk the fingertips back. We meet in an uprighted seated position. Nice job. Remember to sit up tall. Picture an elongated spine. Pretend as though somebody's pulling the top of your head to the ceiling. Big deep inhale, scoop the arms up, yogis. Exhale, left hand to the right knee. Right hand behind the back, forming a second spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and turn to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and turn further to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to look all the way behind you and release, slowly come back to center. Inhale, both arms up, yogis, drop the shoulders away from the ears, energy through the fingers, paint the walls, fold forward, breathe. Gently rocking the head from side to side, breathe. Let's inhale, look out, walk the fingertips an inch further, exhale, melt into the floor, release. If you did not get a chance to set your intention, go ahead and do that now. Health, strength, prosperity. Breathe. Maybe a more flexible mind and body. Whatever it is, make it yours. Walk the fingertips back, come into an upright seated position. Roll over these knees, come into neutral tabletop. Spread the fingers wide. Make sure your hand is directly under your shoulder. Make sure your knee is directly under your hip. Make sure your knees are hip distance apart if you're not sure what that is. Sit back on your heels, put two fists in between your knees. That's your internal hip distance. Let's inhale, right hand out like you're about to shake somebody's hand. Exhale, kick back in that left heel, kick. Balancing table. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, elbow to knee. Make yourself small like a ball. Hold it, pull the tummy in, chin to chest. Inhale, reach that arm out, kick through that left heel, reach. Exhale, crunch, hold it. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release the right hand to the mat. Keep that left leg extended. Kick through that left heel. Flip your right foot off the mat. Reach the left arm up to the ceiling. Reach. Gaze is at your left thumb. 
kick through that left heel. Breathe. Lower the left hand to the mat. Flip your right foot back. Sunbird bows. Keep that left leg extended. We're going to inhale together, everyone. Hover the shoulders past the hands. Pull it, uh, rotate the elbows in and lower the chin to the mat. Shh. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Shh. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Shh. Inhale, push up. Release the left knee to the mat. You're in tabletop. Dancing lions, sit back on the heels, sway over on one direction, come all the way forward and over on the other side. I invite you to close your eyes and slow the pace. Breathe. Let's reverse the direction Remembering to breathe. Sending that out breath to any area of your body that you might be feeling some tension. Also, yogis, if you feel any tension, simply breathe through it. But if you experience any sharp pain, go ahead and stop the movement. We all meet in neutral tabletop. Go ahead and reposition the hands directly under the shoulders. Inhale, left arm out like you're about to shake somebody's hand. Exhale, kick back in that right heel. Kick. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower the left hand to the mat. Keep the right leg extended. Flip the left foot off the mat. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Breathe. Gaze is at your right thumb. Make sure you're kicking through that right heel. Breathe. Nice job. Lower the right hand to the mat. Flip the left foot back. Sunbird bells. Inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Shh. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower. Shh. Inhale, push up. Exhale, lower the right knee to the mat. Second set of dancing lions. Any direction. Slow the pace. Close your eyes. You are strong. Breathe. Reverse the direction. You are fierce. Breathe. Bring the big toes to touch. Reach the glutes back towards the heels. Reach the forehead to the mat. Come into child's pose. Breathe. Gently rocking your forehead from side to side, activating your child's pose by clawing your fingers into the mat, picking the wrists up off the mat. Breathe. Let's inhale together, pick up the torso, walk off to the right side of the mat, lower the forehead to the mat. Breathe. Inhale, pick up the torso, walk off to the left side of the mat and lower your forehead to the mat. Breathe. Pick up the torso, come back to center and release your forehead to the mat, rocking from side to side, coming back to the intention that you set for today's practice. Breathe. Let's flow it out, yogis. Let's do some sun salutations. Come into tabletop, tuck your toes, Hover your knees off the mat, straighten your feet, come into downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, press your chest towards your thighs. Toes are slightly tucked in, heels are slightly tucked out. You could find stillness or walk your dog like I am doing by pedaling out your feet. 
breathe. Inhale, high on the tippy toes, bend your knees, step, walk, or jump your feet to the top of the mat. Maybe keep a slight bend in your knees, protect your lower back. Inhale, look out, flat back, vocal exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, flat back, look out, exhale, let go. <sighs> Inhale, look out, flat back, vocal exhale, let go. <sighs> Ragdoll up, one vertebrae at a time, saving your neck and head for laps, coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. Try not to fidget here, yogis. Settle the heart, settle the mind, settle the breath. All right, let's go. Let's inhale, reach the arms back, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Shh. Hands frame the feet, step, step back. You're in plank. Lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes, scoop your chin and chest through, you're in worm. Draw the hands back to line up with your chest. Hug your elbows in. Scoot everything to the floor. Cobra series. Inhale, look up. Keep the tops of the feet on the mat. And release forehead to mat. Draw the hands back. One hand crimp. Hug the elbows in. Inhale, straighten the arms. Look forward. Come up for teenage cobra and release with control everything to the mat drag the hands back one hand print they're now in line with your rib cage let's inhale come into upward facing dog everything off the floor knees thighs tops of the feet remain on the floor roll over your toes come into downward facing dog we're here for five breaths Next, we're going to go into sun salutations. Breathe. Take sun salutations at your own pace. If you're not up for chaturanga, you can skip that and meet us in downward facing dog. Ready, yogis? Let's go. Inhale, high on the tippy toes. Bend your knees, look out. Float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, look out, flat back. Exhale, hands frame the feet. Jump back, you're in high plank. Chaturanga, hug the elbows in, scoop up. Downward facing dog. Exhale. That was upward facing dog. Now we're in downward facing dog. We're here for five breaths, yogis, breathe. So this is a resting posture. I know it might not feel like it, but it is. <laughs> breathe. So we're gonna do two more sun salutations. Inhale, high on the tippy toes, bend your knees, look out, float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look out, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Hands frame the feet. Step, step back, you're in plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe, we're here for five breaths. You're doing great. Breathe. Inhale, high on the tippy toes. Bend your knees, look out. Float your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, look out, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, forward fold. Shh. Inhale, look out, flat back. Exhale, hands frame the feet. You're in high plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. We're here for five breaths. You did great, yogis. We're going to take it to the floor in a few seconds. On three, we're going to jump into yogi squat. One, two, three. Yogi squat. So your feet are on the outside of your mat. Hands come into prayer. Use your elbows to open up your thighs. If you're feeling any kind of discomfort, maybe rock back and forth. Breathe. 
Go ahead and bring your glutes to the mat. Reach both legs straight out in front. Remove any extra flesh. Flex in both feet. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Shh. Grab on to any area of your foot then. <laughs> We're gonna use them to help us pull deeper. So let's inhale, look out flat back. If you have high blood pressure, keep your head looking straight out. If not, feel free to tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, look out flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Shh. Breathe. And slowly come up to seated. Inhale, both arms out straight in front. And with control, lower everything to the mat. Engage the core. Breathe. Once you're on the mat, extend both legs up the wall. We're here for 60 seconds, allowing for the natural reverse of our blood flow. Breathe. Yogi's choice, find stillness or wiggle out your toes, round out your ankles, whatever feels right to you. Breathe. We're gonna do a couple back stretches before we go into final Shavasana. So go ahead and bend your right knee, pulling that towards your right armpit, lower your left leg to the mat. Shh. Scoop this right knee over to the left side of your mat, stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, lower it over to the right side for this beautiful body stretch. Breathe, stretching your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Breathe. When you're ready, roll onto your back, extend both legs back up the wall for a few more seconds, either finding stillness or wiggling out your feet. Hug your left knee, try to jam it into your left armpit, lower your right leg to the floor. Fold your left knee over to the right side of your mat, stacking your hips, stacking your shoulders. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lower to the left side of the floor. Gaze is to the left. Breathe. Two more breaths. Rolling onto your back, hugging both knees into the belly, grabbing opposite wrists or opposite elbows, lower your head to the mat, gently rock from side to side, massaging your lower back, your kidneys. Breathe. Allow everything to flop out to the floor. We're going for final Shavasana. Allow your legs to flop out to the side, hands to flop out to the side. Maybe close your eyes. Maybe open your mouth, relax the jaw, relax the tongue, relax the brow. You are relaxed. Start to rub your fingertips together, wiggle your toes, bring your awareness back into the room. Bring the legs together, point the toes away from you, reach the arms up overhead, stretch, stretch, stretch. Hugging both knees back into the belly, rocking from side to side. Rock on over to your favorite side, coming into fetal posture, hugging the knees into the belly, using the arm closest to the floor as a pillow, recognizing that this posture signifies new beginnings. Use whichever hand is in front to push up into a comfortable seated position. I invite you to close your eyes. We're gonna take a big deep inhale. Reach both arms up overhead, hands come into prayer. Drag those prayer hands down to your forehead. Drag those prayer hands to your throat chakra. 
Continue to drag those prayer hands to your heart. Thank you for taking this time to feed your mind, your body, your soul. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide. Thank you for trusting the process and yourselves. The light in me recognizes the light in each of you, its truth, its strength, and its beauty. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Drink lots of water today. See you next time. Bye.